what is up guys this morning we're going to my boy stevie b's house do some home improvement so him and his wife can get moved in um come take a ride with me Garrison's tree service. Up here somewhere. Back in the woods. Oh, found it. We made it hour and a half later coming over here to Jersey for whatever reason I got drug out of bed for this morning but we made it we're gonna have uh, some bonding time so we don't get to see each other with our kids and and everything so we'll do some home improvements today whatever he wants to get done what we can get done while he's uh while he's here he works nights so see what happens oh my god what a mess just kidding <clears throat> he's got the swinger star hey John. drinking a bush light at 6 a.m yep what are we doing today bro we are gonna do let's go outlets in the bedroom let's go outlets in the bedroom Time for me to get zapped. I'm just gonna move them two boxes over here. Well, should be an easy installation. Right now we're checking the the outlet for power. So we verified that the outlet's also disconnect the receptacle. So when we go to pull the wires through the attic, we don't cause a fire or arc, or arc ourselves or whatever. So when they come over here, we can cut out the drywall for, for an outlet and a cover. So they don't have a uh, TV mount smacking the closet doors. So we figured out this outlet is powered by this outlet with a jumper wire run through the drywall down to this outlet for whatever reason. But what we're doing is we'll put a junction box in the attic, run, a, run the wiring over for the outlet that we're gonna move from here there and then junction wire is going to go in to that outlet So we're pulling wire back up through the wall. Hold that. All right, wait, you're going all the way through the ceiling, right? All right, keep going. We remove the mount, pull the wire up.
So we've marked the wall where the stud is. We're gonna follow a stud for the junction, or for the, the new outlet box. So we marked it there. We're going to uh, install the wiring through the attic down the wall. So we're adding in a double outlet and what we're going to do is run the cable wire through this side and a receptacle on this side for the TV. So it comes right, right through and then the plate itself actually comes with the receptacle and then a little hole for the cable. So that'll work out nicely with the double box. Just marking the the box itself so we can cut cut the drywall out. Always gotta make sure your shit's level. Mm-hmm. Need more bubble juice. Santa Claus should have brought you some damn new gloves. Nice things are vintage. Precision cuts. Still got that. Tell so, the people what they need to hear. So when you cut these out, you gotta make sure these tabs are still on your drywall. Because when you tighten up these wings on the old work boxes, it'll just keep pulling it in. It won't hold it and you'll have a flappy. Sloppy jalopy. Yeah, sloppy jalopy. Outlet box. Outlet box. But now it'll tighten up and that thing will be tighter than a tick's ass. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's right. Get her done. It always makes me nervous cutting into drywall or any kind of wall of your house or anything because you don't know what you're getting into. And if you do it wrong, you got to redo the whole wall, make a patch piece. Never any fun. So that's why we sat here for a few minutes and cut little by little to get the box with, and the tabs to fit just right. So typical fashion, as usual, when you're doing any kind of home project or any project, we gotta go back to the hardware store and return those and buy, what do we need to buy? Junction box. A junction box for the attic to split the TDEM wires off and, and tie that other outlet back into the circuit. So, in typical fashion, here we are leaving the job because we don't have the right parts. Always happens no matter what. All right, so we're back in action here. Shut up, I'm taking the video. 
So we're back in action. Stevie's pulling up the wiring that he's mounted the junction box. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna snip the wire off there for him so we can plug in this outlet. And then he's gonna feed me wires down in the hole here for the double box that we're gonna install and wrap this job up. About, I don't know, about two and a half hours worth of talking smack and had to run out to the hardware store. So, this is what it is. Oh, uh, hold on, I got one. And cable wire come through, easy peasy. So, Romex is pulled through, cables pulled through. So, <clears throat> gotta blow a hole in this thing. Uh, probably here, probably there. Do what he wants to do then i ain't gonna get into his uh roll in his box if it was mine i'd just blow a hole through it right through the top as usual i'm wrong let this electrician do what he wants to do for this install that's right yeah don't let me do it I'll zigzag and cross slide and oh now let there be light my brother the wings gonna go up suck that thing against the drywall It's smoking up, which is nice. Now you're tight. Tight, no loosey, no goosey. Got enough cable to feed back up in the ceiling. Uh, we wanted to, but the connections are gonna be. This obviously has that special TV cable, so you're just gonna just push it up in there so it comes out, and then you can feed it for the TV when, once we mount. Once the TV gets mounted, I don't, I probably won't be here for that, but Let's see if he cuts his finger off, give you some action here, folks. <laughs> My man is getting after it. Oh. Typical electrician just throwing his wires and trash on the floor. Of course. So here we are. We're not gonna make it look like spaghetti end that was in the other outlet cover. If you guys saw it or not, but definitely. You don't need 10 foot of it twisted together with a drill. The better they off they are with wire nuts. And the prettier they are. Well, this one doesn't get any wire nuts. Oh, no wire nuts in here because we're not, we didn't jump for it. But the last electrician decided he was going to uh, twist them together with a drill. Here's a little helpful tip you're to put outlets in. See the gold? Tip that. Uh, good. So here we got a tip. So you always put your black to your gold. And your white to your silver. A little easier to remember that way. Nice and tight. Sometimes they play a little heck on you. Yes. 
can get that snap up in there. Some people use the stabs on the back. I don't like them because if you ever have to replace your outlet, the wire is going to be shorter than it was. See this? You can always do the stabs in the back, but I don't like them. White. Your neutral is white and your ground is the green one. Look at me, I'm learning things here today. Nut screw, the clamping down on that. Yeah, we're in there. And then I always leave that long so you can always bend it around and later on you come back and cut her off. Cut her off. Makes it a little easier. Finish her out. So there's the outlet that was tied into that outlet there and the old mount set there. Uh, we don't have a cover for this either, but we need, he needs to fill in the drywall here, patch up the holes from the TV mount, and then there's actually old, old wallpaper behind that old outlet cover. So he's gonna do some drywall patching. I think I'm done, done here helping him today. Um, so we moved the outlet. It actually turned out really nice. Nice and tight, got the cable. Home Depot is gonna sell him the outlet cover um, with the TV cable. So that's gonna look nice and clean. Both boxes the same, or they're both the same, so it's gonna be behind the TV, so nobody's gonna be able to see that. So he's got, they got a little bit more work to do in here. Make sure that they're get in in two weeks. Once they're done, it's gonna be a nice, beautiful house and nice brickwork and stuff. So, I will catch you guys later.